Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you on how to bridge mode a TP-Link modem router. Let's take a look at, at the PC call connection. So I have a modem router here that is connected to my NBN fiber to the node line and a desktop computer which is connected to one of the LAN ports of the modem router. As the modem router is uh, DHCP enabled, it will then automatically assign an IP address to the computer, which makes them in one network. From my computer, I can then open a browser and browse to the IP address of the modem router, which is 192.168.1.1, and then I can manage the modem router from there. You can also use a laptop and wireless connected to the modem router. So what is bridge mode? Bridge mode is a networking term which means that the routing function of a router, the NAT function, is turned off. Basically we are disabling the router function of this modem router here and make it as a modem only. So when do we use uh, bridge mode? Well, in my case, I have a router here that is uh, more reliable and has more features such as firewall, VPN, etc. Or a router that can do a lot of things than a residential grade modem router that is provided by most of the ISP. That is why I prefer to use my own router. Let's open our browser and browse to the IP address of the modem router which is 192.168.1.1 put in the default password which is admin and then go to advanced then network DSL and as you can see I have uh, two configured internet connections the other one is disabled and the other one is connected the one that we are interested in is the one that is connected. So you need to check the settings on this one because we need to copy this when we are configuring the modem to bridge mode. So let's check the configuration of the current connection. The details that we are interested in is the DSL modulation type, the VLAN ID, and of course the username and the password. Once you get all those details, you can then delete this connection and then click the add to create a new connection. And from here, based on the settings that we have before, the VLAN ID is enabled, which is uh, VLAN ID is number two. And then the internet connection type we need to change this to bridge and then press OK. And that's it. The modem is now in bridge mode. So the next thing that we need to do is to configure our router. Let's take a look at the physical connection after we enabled the bridge mode of our modem router so the connection now is that the modem router is connected to our router and then our computer desktop computer is now connected to the LAN port of our router from our computer we can then now log into our router to configure the internet connection by the way um, just in case your bridge mode didn't work you might need to reboot the modem after you enabled the bridge mode in my case i don't need to it is working without rebooting but just in case you're experiencing issue just reboot the modem let's connect to our router i'm using microtech so i'll be using winbox uh, to connect to my router connect and then I will go to PPP and create 
a new interface PPPOE client select that one and in general because I'm using the interface Ethernet one I need to select that one I name it as gateway and click apply and that should connect automatically yep I got it start status connected in some cases you might need to go to dial out and put in your username and password in my provider it doesn't seem to be a requirement to put in a username and password as long as uh, the modem is in, in VLAN too I don't know why but that is the case click OK and in your not true I need to make sure the out interface is the PPPOE out the connection that we have that should be the out interface click apply press OK and let's open a browser see if you can browse cnn.com yep connection is good and we're done